Search are there? 35,000, right? How would we write 35,000 in scientific notation here? 3.5 times 10 to the 4th power. Times 10 to the 4th power. Do you, under, do you understand why it's a positive exponent? Right? On your test, I will give you a negative. It's just like your test that you got. You got one with a, a um, small number, isn't it? The test you got, did you understand why it should have been a negative 3 instead of a positive 3, right? If you look at the test, the quiz, if you look at your blue quiz, you are given a, a, a very small number. For the bottom one about that pig, um, oh, yeah, yeah, pygmy, yeah, yeah. do you understand why that's a negative exponent? Yeah, because it's... It's not um, even one whole, is it? Yeah. That's why it should have been a lot. A student put a positive 3 where it should have been a negative 3, right? Yeah. Got it? Any question on that? Okay, so everyone got this, right? Remember, this is like your coefficients, the number. You're going to multiply those together. Okay, 2.1 times, times 3.5, right? Correct? And then 10 to the third, the ones with the exponent with the same base. This is product rule of powers, correct? Times 10 to the fourth. Product rule of powers. We're using com commutative property of multiplication. We're commute we are commuting things together that are alike. Okay? Yes? I thought we had the three and the four. Yeah. Yes, we do. Why? What product rule of powers, correct? We can add the exponent when the base are the same. So when you multiply this, what do you get? 3.1 times 3.5. Yes, Ella? Yes. Oh. So your answer here is, um, what is it, you guys? Uh, 7.35. 7.35? And times 10 to the 7th power. This is called what? Scientific notation. And then they want to write the length of this many dinosaurs in standard notation. What standard notation? Normal. Normal. So, do you see how I'm annotating? It helps me to want in a normal number. So they want 375 times 10 to the seventh power be normal. Okay. You can do this order of operation. You can. Um, there's two ways to do this. You can take this to, on the calculator and put 10 to the seventh power. Okay, do order of operation, um, calculator. 10 to the seventh power. Um, 10 to the power of 7 equals, uh oh, they, see how I know that's wrong? 10 to the power of 7. I don't know how to use this calculator on here. Um, I don't know how to put exponents like exponent 7 because they only tell you exponent 7. No, on, on this calculator here, 10, it's easy for me to do it here. 10 to the power of 7. That's like 10 million. Okay, so you would get 10 million here, and then times it, 10 million, uh, 
um, like that, times that by 7.35, right, order of operation, you, you do the exponent first, right, and then times that, you get 7.35, um, that answer. Right? Did I? Yeah. Did you multiply it? You should get that, right? You do order of operation, right? You do exponent first, correct? And then you get this, and then you times that. Now, do we have a normal number? Yes. Yes. That's our normal number. That's called standard notation. Now, you can do a shortcut to this. How I do, but most people, even when I take a test, I don't remember the shortcut ever. So I always do order of operation. When they give me a number like that and they say, what is that number? I do order of operation. So I don't remember the shortcut, honestly, ever. Okay? I only remember it because I teach it. So if you forget it, do order of operation, right, to standard form. Okay, so this is to the seventh place. Move it seven times. Move the decimal seven times. So 7.35, I'm going to move it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And put the zeros in. Notice that it's the exact same answer. This answer is the exact same answer as the answer here. That's how you check it? Um, this is the shortcut if you oh, remember it. Okay. That this is how many times you move the decimal. If not, because no one, rarely anyone ever remember the shortcut. You just do order, order of operation. Exponent first. Times it by the number, you'll get the answer. You get it? Yeah. The shortcut is seven, you move seven times, but you'll get the same. If you remember the shortcut, do the shortcut. If in doubt, do order of operation. Got it? Okay. Describe the difference between a, a scientific notation and a standard notation number. So go ahead, put in your words a difference between a standard notation and a scientific notation. Okay, that's your own word. Now you know what it is. I was surprised how many of you did not know how to um, um, Oh, you read it wrong? That's why? Yeah, I thought you said scientific. Ah. That's why, that that's why it's important to go scientific. I would annotate this the difference between, describe the difference between, I would annotate this 10 to the something power, and standard notation, I would put normal. Anytime I see standard, I would put normal. So it just, ta I take that time so my brain can remember, you know, that I don't read wrong. All right? Okay, number two, it's backwards. Do you see number two? Yes. According to and it, most genes weigh this much. In scientific notation, right? On average, um, 3.4 times 10 to the 8th power genes are sold each year. This is how many genes are sold each year. Is that a lot or a little? Yeah. Yeah. How many genes... Are sold each year. 
how many pounds, how many pounds, right, of jeans. I read that wrong. You see that? How many pounds of jeans are sold each year? So how much, how much does one jean weigh? How much does one jean um, weigh? Four, that's for one jean. No, you don't have to. I just was trying to confuse you by putting it there. See what you do with it. Use, use standard notation. What's standard notation? Normal. So it's the opposite. They want you to change it to normal, right? To calculate the weight of each gene sold each year. So what's 2.4 as a normal number? What would you do to find out? 2.4 times 10 to the first. So what would you put on your calculator here? Uh, Xavian, what would you do? Uh, 2.4 10 And what would you get? 24, huh? Okay, now what did I do wrong on um, A and B? What did I do wrong on number 1, A and B? Victoria, what did I do wrong on numbers 1, A and B? Yes, Mark. Um, you have to put it in word form. In word form, very good. So here I would say um, the length of the dinosaurs, the length of the dinosaurs in scientific notation is 7.35 times 10 to the 7th. So B, same thing, right? The length of the dinosaur in standard form Hi, Isaac. Hey, Mom. Do I need to pick you up? Yeah. You can't do anything? No. Okay, I'll pick you up in 15 minutes. Okay. All right. I mean, I, no, I can't do anything. I mean, I would cut it. It's really hard to do anything. All right. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Okay. So you know how to write this in um, the length of the dinosaur, right? I'm not going to write it. You, you write it for homework, right? So that's 24 times, okay, we're going to multiply, right, to find out how much, okay, how many genes? 3.4 times 10 to the 8th power, okay, what's 10 to the 8th power? What's 10 to the 8th power? How much is that? Use your calculator. You guys got calculator, right? Yeah. Ten. Let's do ten. 10 to the 8th power. Use your calculator. 10 to the power of 100 million? 100 million? Wait. How many zeros? There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 zeros, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 100 million. Times that by 3.4. 340 million, right? 340 million. Okay. Do you see how we make it in standard form? Do you understand how we make it in standard form? Now multiply them together. What'd you get? 800 what? So you would say the weight of all the genes sold is how much? The weight 
of all genes sold is how much? It's eight, one, six, zero. One, six. So it's, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero. So that is eight trillion. 160 million, 8 billion, 160 million pounds of genes sold each year. The weight of all genes sold is that much pound. Oh, ounces. Ounces, so we can convert this to pounds. So we also have workbook pages to do? Mm-hmm. So you're not going to be able to do that with those? I can do the best I can, you guys. That's why I was trying to get you to go. And write the weight of genes sold in scientific notation. So how do you write 8 million? How do you write this in scientific notation? The weight. The weight of the genes in scientific notation is so p to the ninth, but make the nine smaller and then multiply four with three. The coefficient is what? 8.16 times 10 to the what power? 10 to the 4. Uh, Look at your paper. It's easier to count on your paper than my paper. I don't think that's it's 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. power, right? Yeah, 9. Okay. So, it's the first one, standard four, standard notation or scientific notation? Standard. Standard. How do you know it's standard? Because there's no exponents. Standard, because there's no exponent. First of all, there's, and what else does it not have? The base of 10, right? Base of 10 with exponent. So what else? The base of 10. Because it's less than 1? Because it's less. And it's less than 1. And the number is less than 1, right? I'm right, less than one. Okay. How about B? What is it? Uh, scientific notation. Okay, this is scientific notation. Why? Because it has the base of 10, and the exponent 10 is bigger than one. Has yeah, it's in the range of one. The base of 10. And the number is between 1 and 10, right? Scientific notation, the, the base, the base, scientific notation, because the base of 10. And number is between 1 and 10. You're all done? Let me see one more time. Okay, four ounces. Okay. Okay, for that you took. Okay, so that's this one. And any other homework assignments you need this week?
Oh, from this past week. No, I meant, like, I just got that for you. Too. Okay, I don't, I couldn't find your lot. I know. This one is for Friday. All the Any of the other ones? All the other ones. Are you going to do number two with those two? They get signed up. The dog kills you and put inside a lot. Okay, then I need them. So I can give you credit for it. Okay? Um, put your name on there. And then get a new one. Because that one will be on the new one. Okay, so here we go. First thing we do here, what do you do first? Do we like negative exponents? Yeah. No, we don't like negative exponents. What are we going to do to them? Negative exponent rule. Negative exponent rule. And, and um, what do we do with the negative exponent rule? Yeah. Reciprocal, right? Just switch it. Negative exponent rule. So the, what's inside the parentheses, like the negative four? Stay the, the same. Stays the same? It stays the same. Everything inside stays the same. The what only is, thing that change to its opposite are the exponents. What if the negative exponent inside is it, it gets inside? The it doesn't matter. It stays the same. Okay. Power to the power. Always stay, the inside always stays the same. Okay. That never changes. Uh, That's why I write on the no four squares. Yeah, two x cubed y squared and the negative four x y stay the same. They don't change. The only thing that change is is the exponents. Oh, like, so you flip it? Yeah. In order for our, uh, an exponent to change its sign, is you have to put it. Whatever's in the denominator needs to go to numerator, and then change the sign. But I thought you had to times negative three. You do have to. Okay. What do you see here? What sign is this? Divide. Y divide by four. What do you do when there's a division? Oh, okay. Okay. This is this doesn't get you zero. You see. Negative and the negative doesn't get you to zero. Add negative 10 plus 10 will get you zero. But you have to add two. Okay? And then on the other side, this is a minus you add. Change that script. Very good. Um, you add, so you end up subtracting. Did you subtract it? Just one negative, one positive, you have to subtract. Okay, then what, what property, what rule? Then it's power to a power, right? Power to a power. Get it? Power to a power. So 2 to, to the 4. Does everyone get see how we get 2 to the 4? X, okay, good x to the 12th, and y to the 8th. And on the next one is negative 4 to the 3rd, x to the 3rd, y to the 3rd. And then what rule do we follow next? You uh, add all of them together. No, this is a quotient. This is quotient. Do we add or subtract? Subtract quotient rule of powers. So you need to subtract them. Okay, let's turn this into, look, let's turn this into a number we know. 2 to the 4th is what? 2 to the 4th is what? It's um, 4, 16. 16. What is negative 4 cubed? Negative, uh, negative um, 16, negative 16. No, it's cubed, not squared. Oh, that's not negative 16. That's 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 48. Oh, yeah, 48. Is it 48? 16 times 4? Negative 48. Negative 48. 16 times 4? No, 16 times 4. It's 4, four times 4. You said cubed. Cubed. Cubed, that's 3. Yeah, cubed is 3. What is... 
Guys, put on your calculator ne negative 4 cubed. Did you get negative 64? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you would do x to the 12th minus 3, right? y to the 8th minus 3, correct? And then we simplify what? Wait, what does that say? You need to subtract these, the one with the same base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Simplify powers. We're going to simplify powers. Okay, so we simplify the powers and we get, this is divided by 8, 16, that's 1 over 4 negative. X to the 9th and Y to the 5th. Does so it stay a negative. What stays in Oh yeah, that number never changes. Yeah. Any question? We simplify the powers and we get our answer. Got it? Okay, this question here. Are you going to do number two, like one this two one here. On the other page? Yes, I will. Okay, this one here. Negative four times two. This is commutative property of multiplication, but that wasn't one of the stuff on there. What are we going to do first? You gotta add, you gotta add all of this. What is that called? Product rule of powers. It's a product. This is a multiplication. Product rules of power. Okay. So then you add the exponent, right? That's x negative 6. Add. 13. Y negative 8 plus 8. Y 7 plus a negative 3. And then we're going to simplify, right? Simplify powers, correct? We call this simplify powers. Oh, I meant to write Z here. Sorry. Thank you for oh, correcting me. Z here. I was like, wait, what? Negative 8x to the 7th, y to the 0, z to the 4th. And zero what do we do next? Rule. Zero, power zero power rule. Zero power rule. That's a 1, right? So negative 8x to the 7th, z to the 4th. Now, do we move that negative 8 down? No. You leave it like it is, right? Because that's 